<laughs> so I put out this video yesterday and uh, a lot of you guys caught on, obviously, because I had a Hellcat in the driveway. Um, that let me know half of you guys don't follow me on Instagram. So those of you that did follow me on Instagram, you guys went along for the journey to hunt for the car. We looked at a bunch of regular Hellcats together. Um, and then, of course, you guys came along with me on the night that I actually picked up the Widebody Hellcat. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram and you have Instagram, head over there now. It's work, play, drive, all one word. Give me a quick follow. You'll be able to see more real-time stuff. YouTube videos take a while to edit. They take a while to film. Uh, Instagram is more of like just pick up the phone, go live, and you know you guys can see what's going down. Uh, if you're not an Instagram person, don't worry. I will put out content on YouTube and stuff like that, but it just takes me a little bit longer to get there. Now, a lot of you guys picked up that uh, the Hellcats in the driveway, um, and I was going to do a video about this. I got here. I'm about 3,500 miles away from home. I got here to start editing the content and only to find out that uh, it's got a lot of wind noise in it. It's not unbearable. It is wind noise nonetheless, but you can hear everything I'm saying. Um, I talked to a few people. They didn't care. So I'm just going to go with it and uh, just know that this isn't the normal quality I like to put out. But I'm not going to be able to capture that same feeling that I had when I was standing there with the car by over, you know, voiceovering it from here. So I'm going to roll with the original footage. Don't worry, we'll be making some good Hellcat Scat Pack content in the future. The Scat Pack is only with me till May 5th. That car is a lease and it is going back. Uh, I'll go into detail on that inside that video. All right, so sit back, relax, and enjoy this quick video on um, why I got the Hellcat, what's going on, how I feel about it, and again, apologies about the wind noise. The title of this video is not clickbait. We have um, picked up a new car. We are getting rid of the scat pack and the reason for that is after putting together, I feel weird doing this outside, after putting together enough money to buy the scat pack off lease and to supercharge it, um, I've determined that it's a little bit too much money to spend to get something that is not as powerful as the car that I want. Um, and there's also the reliability factor of boosting a 392. So, it's sad to say, but in May, that car is going back. We're gonna strip it back to stock. Uh, before you guys go nuts in the comments about, um, you know, putting together a car like that and then taking it all apart again because it's a lease, which, you know, yeah, it, it's stupid for some, but for me, that car was relaxation. That car was the way that, you know, I would unwind, you know, taking it apart, putting it back together is something I enjoy doing. It gave me a lot of years of enjoyment and I'm going to get the same enjoyment taking it apart and putting it back to stock again. Now, instead of making you guys wait till the very end of the video, here is the new car. All right. So what you guys are looking at is a 2018 wide body Hellcat. This is the exact color I wanted, the exact wheels I wanted, the exact red demonic red leather interior I wanted everything about this car is exactly what I wanted and the best part about it is thanks to the red eye I was able to pick this up used it is a garage queen with 2,500 miles on it the owner took care of it exactly as I would have and uh, I don't know what to say I'm like beside myself that I actually have this car it is amazing and on the good side a lot of the good decisions we made on the scat pack will be transferring over to the hellcat and then of course many more fun things to do in the future now we got to discuss one major thing here the fact that this car is not a manual so why why didn't i get a manual well i love driving a manual and it was a great thing um you know never never snobby about the fact that a manual is better it's not better it is just a personal preference um you know the the car the scat pack was awesome to drive as a manual the clutch was just right a little stiffer than most but uh it was good it was perfect i daily drove that car with the exception of snow but uh you know that car in a manual is perfect the Hellcat, on the other hand, the clutch on the two that I tried was just ridiculously stiff. I'm thinking, you know, daily driving through a little bit of traffic or on some hills or anything else, that would have been a pain in the ass. So, 
we decided, or I keep saying we, it's me, I decided that, uh, yeah, just to go automatic this time around. If that's a problem for some of you guys, my apologies, but that's my story. I'm sticking to it. This car right here is the car that I've been staring at. The wheels, everything, everything about this car is exactly what I've been looking at for over a year. And to finally have it is amazing. The only thing I wanted differently is, of course, I don't have the orange calipers, but I'm sure a quick call to G2 can take care of that real fast. Um, but so answer some of the questions I got on Instagram and listen, if you're not following me on Instagram, head over to Instagram and look up work, play, drive, all one word, work, play, drive. That's where you're going to find me. Um, that's where I post up to the minute stuff of what I'm doing. That's how everybody knew I got a Hellcat on Monday of last week. Um, that's how everybody knew I was getting rid of the scat pack on Saturday of the week before. Well, it, uh, it took about 20 minutes to inspect, but it is perfect. The wheels are perfect. The interior is perfect. The exterior is perfect. So it really looks like we're going to make a deal tonight. On top of all that, I walk in the door and I'm greeted by this lady. Hey. I don't know if you guys remember from the TA video, Marissa Molnar. The 392. <laughs> well, now we're upgrading to a little bit more, right? So uh, yeah, we're gonna go take it for a test drive. And uh, if that plays out nicely, we'll be leaving with this today. We actually, uh, we just recently get to check out the underside. No issues with the drive shaft. Yeah. After we we spent twenty six hundred into it. Well, that's just so you can send it to uh, Yeah. <laughs> we have to make it legal for. Got a little tire issue, yeah. but otherwise it's looking good. It's looking better and better every minute. Over. All right, so here it is, first remote start. Let's see if I did it right. Sounds good. Yeah, we'll be driving it home. If you guys want a car, you gotta come see these guys. You guys, Nielsen in East Hanover, and Marissa is back. What are you, are you filming me, filming you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm driving home, I'm tired. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I just wanna do a quick two second video for these two babies sitting in the driveway. Holy crap, my heart's pounding. It was an awesome drive. Man, this is awesome. I just gotta share it with you guys. Totally awesome. If you follow me on Instagram, I'll give you my thoughts and quick 15 second blurbs in the stories and you'll see what's going down. Now, the car's got a good future ahead of it. Top half's gonna be a wrap satin black. I'm going with some orange accents, calipers. The uh, Hellcat badges will be orange. The center of the gas cap will be orange. Got a full Lux treatment on the way. Uh, we're gonna go with the taillight fades because I loved that look from the last one. Um, we're of course blacking out those reflectors down there. Don't have LED side markers for the wide body yet. So I'm going with brush metal uh, tint to cover up those and a brush metal tint kit to cover up those. Uh, that being said, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think of the new purchase. Tell me how you feel about getting rid of the scat. Um, every one of your opinions, as long as they're respectful, I obviously will read it and respond to it. All right, sun's in my eyes, but hey, at least not in yours. So I gotta tell you, I, I, I can't even explain how awesome this is to have this car right here. The car that I've always wanted. I gave up my garage fund for it, gave up my supercharger fund. I gave up all my earnings from last year from the channel just to be able to get this thing. And um, I don't mind starting from the bottom. I mean, would you look at it? It's amazing. So I got some advice for you guys, and uh, it was alarming to see some of the Instagram uh, comments and questions about buying a car to make the channel better or buying a car to increase followers. Um, don't do that. Uh, people can tell when you're just buying things to impress people. Um, you gotta buy what's good for you. You gotta buy what your heart is set on, and people will see that. They'll see that in the way you react to the vehicle. They'll see it in everything that you do to the vehicle. The scat pack, the scat pack was the reason I stopped staring at the Challenger and I bought one. The scat pack, that throwback, that sound, that feeling of that car. And for four years, yes, we've had that car for four years. Um, I've loved every minute of it. And I knew, you know, in my heart that I wasn't gonna be 
getting bored of the Challenger anytime soon. So that being said, I decided instead of leasing another car to buy the Hellcat. Um, you know, it's this car's gonna be with me for a while. It is not. I have no intention of making this a garage queen. I can't let this sit in the garage. I gotta take it out. I gotta enjoy it. You know, it's, this car is amazing. It's louder than the Scat. It's obviously ridiculously faster than the Scat. And on the test drive, it tried to kill me. That's when I instantly fell in love with it. You know, give me your thoughts. You know, I, I am a little. I am a little sad about losing the Scat. I mean, I love that car. I loved every minute I had with that car. And I've loved every minute I shared with you guys in that car. Um, dismantling is a little tough, taking all the parts that uh, I like off the car. But again, having a Hellcat makes all that easier. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Now, let's go check out some of the cool stuff we got here. Now, one of the things I loved about the wide body, obviously the fender flares, it's not for everybody. A lot of people don't like the fender flares, but me personally, I don't know, I think it's awesome. My wife and my son both think the car looks smaller with the fender flares, and I mean front to back smaller, not side to side, obviously. The tires, 305, 35, 20s, they're ridiculously huge. And believe it or not, at least in this cold weather, they don't put the power down to the road, they don't stick. Uh, as good as I thought, but again, it's 30 degrees here. They are all season tires, but I could definitely tell that there's there's not a lot of grip on these rubbers this cold. The wheels are <laughs> insane. I mean, the depth of the wheel itself. Let's try a better angle. Oh, the sun glare. How about there? There we go. All right, so these wheels are nuts. Super deep. I love the devil's rim. It's pretty freaking amazing. So I have a funny feeling that I'm gonna love these just as much as I love the Scat Pack wheels, which I never changed. I've, you know, I had my eye on a couple different types of wheels, but never had the urge to pull the trigger because the ones that the Dodge put on the Scat Pack were amazing. And now we have these. We've got the uh, silver calipers all the way around. Again, we'll hit up G2 to get those done up in orange. You're gonna have that badge right there done up in a pretty color of orange already got the Merrick Motorsports rings sitting in there nicely. We got the billet technology stuff under the hood. More stuff on order. Let's talk about the interior. Demonic red leather. Now, you know I've been a fan of the suede interior because of the grippiness and everything. Um, I was a little nervous about getting the leather. I thought it would be slippery or uncomfortable. These seats are amazing. They're heated and cooled, so I don't have to worry about getting swamp butt, I hope. We'll find that out in the summer. But the red interior, it's it's kind of muted. It's not as bright as the uh, suede interior that's red. And I kind of like the way this looks. Yes, we have the automatic. We're gonna rag on that for a while. Right now I got a dash cam hanging there, a nice old one. I'm waiting for the uh, Cryos Pro to finally release. Hopefully in a couple weeks I'll have that. Back seats, what you can expect from a Challenger back seat. And uh, there's really not much else to tour in here. The only thing I'm missing from this car, unfortunately, is the uh, Apple CarPlay. So that kind of sucks. We've already got the Pro Clip. The new Pro Clip moved in. This is pretty awesome. You got to drop that right in there. And you have the Pro Clip charging. So while you're driving, and I gotta say that sun is pretty horrible while you're driving you never have to take your eyes off the windshield because that pro clip is right next to your field of view pretty cool all right so uh i guess that is it i'm gonna close out this video hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys aren't too sad that the scat pack will be going away in the next few uh months but uh i feel for me this is a great new chapter and uh I look forward to making many videos with this car. Hopefully get this thing on the drag strip to see what she does. And then uh, get some nice baselines for when I can afford to upgrade her. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, one of my planned videos uh, a lot of people are asking for is what is the difference between a Hellcat and a Scat Pack? As it stands right now, that subtle jump of 200 horsepower isn't that subtle. It's pretty huge difference um, and you know they're two entirely different cars they feel different they drive different or at least for me I have to get used to the car all over again 
So I'm going to spend some time doing that. I'm going to spend some time learning the car, getting comfortable with it, make it the same as this cat, where it's just an extension of me. I can comfortably drive it. And if I wiggle a little bit, I'm not too concerned. Uh, once I get to that point, I will definitely do a review between the Scat Pack and the Hellcat because there's a lot of people out there asking questions like, you know, I want to do the upgrade, but is it worth it? Um, as of right now, with the short period of time I've had with the Hellcat, yes, it's worth it. Uh, but I'll be able to go into more detail on that once uh, once I've had more time with the car to give you guys a really, once I have a better understanding of it, I can give you guys a really good video on it.